This is a video about the application of astrotometry in the field of weather prediction, uh, specifically uh, storm prediction, hurricane strength and position indication. The intended audience for this video is storm forecasters, people who are actively involved in forecasting storms and producing models to predict uh, storms and various weather related phenomenon. I'm not going to get into the details of my record on using astrotometry with respect to hurricane strength and uh, positioning and stuff like that, but I will say that 10 days ago I sent an email out to a few people that I correspond with about my uh, various discoveries predicting that Hurricane Ike was not going to dissipate as it had been predicted by the uh, NOAA's uh, Hurricane Prediction Center. And so my basis for this was a coronal mass ejection that was emitted away from the Earth. And I speculated that this was from a spot. And the speculation about the nature of that spot being there was confirmed by a holographic, uh, seismo-holographic model of the sun that uh, showed a, a spot. And so I sent out this email, and uh, sure enough, the hurricane uh, picked back up and ended up doing what it did. To abstract the details of the theory, in a way that makes the science and the physics, uh, the astrotometry, if you will, of the, uh, the, the, the technique obvious, is going to be very difficult because astrotometry is a completely new way of understanding the universe. And to abstract this, I'm going to say that it, the primary uh, mechanism, if you want to think of it as a inherent super similarity that is uh, time integrated. In other words, there is a, a similarity about the nature of the universe, a sort of clockwork that falls out of the uh, photon spin entanglement, the nature of, of energy, the nature of electromagnetic energy itself on the atomic and subatomic level, on the molecular level, emerges as a sort of super similarity in the universe. And there's a relationship that exists between the sun and the earth that we really haven't mapped yet in its, in its complexity. And this relationship explains a lot of the things that we see on the sun and the, sol and the solar cycle. And if you look back the past few years, you'll notice that we've been at the solar minimum, we haven't seen a lot of sunspots. And during this time, there were much fewer than predicted hurricanes, even though the water has been warm enough, even though the conditions have been right. And I am uh, asserting that there is an association between the, the dark spot we see on the sun and the eye of the hurricane, that there is a, a self-similar uh, space-time symmetrical, in other words, symmetrical through time and space, that would allow us to predict uh, the formation of the eye and its persistence through time. There's a length of time, an amount of time, that it takes the energy traveling from the sun to arrive on the earth. And so, the many, many cases, um, that amount of time can be very significant. And I think that can aid in the, uh, the modeling of this. And if you notice, the, the, the location that sunspots form are suspiciously similar to the areas in which um, hurricanes form. I mean, if you, look at it just, uh, if you look at just the axes of the Earth and the axis of the sun, the, the sunspots don't uh, migrate that far north usually. And I am I'm associating the spot itself with the, the swirling activity, with the, actual, with the actual movement, because of the nature of uh, 
self-induction. It has to do with the nature of self-induction on the uh, on the molecular level. But I wanted to throw this out there and get more minds on this because I think it's incredibly important uh, to augment our understanding of the way um, these uh, these phenomenon behave. And so. Um, I'm interested in hearing comments about this, and I really, really appreciate uh, the people that are doing this work. And this is dedicated to all of you. This discovery is dedicated to all of you. Uh, take it, uh, use it as you wish. Um, and uh, I hope that someone will, will pick it up and run with it, because I think that's really what needs to happen. Um, but I don't, I don't really have time to devote to this particular track. Um, uh, the, the, the implications of, of my theory seem to be so broad that I'm just kind of, this is, these are large brush strokes that I'm making here. And so um, there's, a, there's a lot of good, good science that can be done on this idea uh, for anyone that wants to take this and run with it. And I, I think that there's, there's definitely potential as far as storm prediction and um, the, uh, the uh, you know, advancement of our of our uh, capabilities there. And so um, feel free to comment on this video, send me uh, a video response, uh, post a comment. Um, my normal subscribers, um, unless your comment is technical in nature, it will be removed. I want the any discussion here on YouTube in the comments area to be strictly related to the content of this discovery of this, of this mechanism. And I'm happy to answer any of the the questions that anyone has about my my uh, uh, theory about the nature of the mechanism i'm interested to hear what people think about it and uh, thank you so much for listening and please uh, spread this around send it to your your cohorts that are uh, doing similar work and i appreciate listening thanks